Yo, what do you do, party people? Chef Jimmy Sauce is here, and I'm sitting with my good friend Abel hey, and my beautiful guys. wife, Rocio. Hi, hey guys. Anyways, uh, a couple weeks ago, uh, no, all right. Abel's a friend of mine. Uh, we've known him since high school, right? Yeah. We were friends we were in high we're school. Friends, yeah. uh, we've, all, we've all been friends in high school. And uh, yeah, a couple weeks ago, um, I came to Abel's house to drop off some salsa. So, in salsa roja, salsa. which is right here. Woo, look at that. It's in a skull right here. And um, as we were sitting here at the kitchen table talking, Abel had mentioned to me that he made a, uh, a chorizo from one of our salsas. And I said, wow, tell me more about it. And we talked about it. And you mentioned to me the recipe and everything that you put in it. And it just really blew my mind. Um, go ahead and tell the audience what you, uh, what you made or what, how you made it. Yeah, well, first of all, I want to thank you guys for coming. And you thank know you. what? We really appreciate Up and Smoke Tacos. You guys need any catering? Up and Smoke Tacos is, is, is who you call. So they did great work, beautiful presentation, and that's one of the reasons that I, I, uh, I looked to them for, for uh, our taco needs. So what happened was um, I used to use turkey back when I ate meat. I haven't ate meat for a couple of years now, so I needed a substitute. So uh, I came upon Beyond Beef. You know, we've all heard about Beyond Beef, but everybody was using it as burgers and such, and I wanted to do something different. I wanted uh, to, 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 to change it up a little bit. So I used to take turkey and put chipotle uh, powder on it and, and, and give it this, give it a beef flavor, give turkey a beef flavor. So when I tried your sauce and the great chipotle flavors it had in it, I said, oh man, I gotta try this. So I took the Beyond Beef, I fried it up with some potatoes. Very simple, uh, one potato, one patty, one egg. Simple, simple recipe. Simple recipe, simple recipe, and I added some, uh, some, some up in smoke uh, chipotle sauce. Right here. <laughs> the secret, the secret the ingredient. The secret ingredient. Is right and here, honestly, guys. It, it, although it's it's not a secret, it's the only ingredient. Uh, I don't add anything to the potatoes. I don't add anything. To I noticed the you didn't add. I, I noticed you didn't add any salt to the potatoes. No. Uh, to the to the eggs no or need. anything. No need. That was great. Because, that was so awesome. Because uh, one of the benefits of having a great tasting salsa is it's all included in there. So you, you don't have to over salt or over pepper. And I know most cooking shows always add salt and pepper and salt and pepper. And, and there are times you need. It. But in this instance. Um, Beyond Beef is 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 as uh, well salted and, and it just worked out where where I got one potato, one egg, one patty, and one cup of this great sauce and and and, and it just came up together and I garnished it with uh, some avocado, some queso fresco, and I added some awesome microgreens. The microgreens, I, I'm sorry, the, the microgreens are super, super awesome. These are great for any dish. I would say any dish. Yeah. I mean, they're just the flavor is just beautiful. It's, it's, it's fresh. It's pure. I mean, you can't, you can put this on anything. You can put this on soup if you'd like. Yes. I think it was great. It's delicious. Uh, so microgreens are a lot more nutritious than um, full grown. Okay. Uh, apparently, from what I understand, they're 400 times more nutritious than the actual vegetable. I can see that. Yeah, I can see that. But, you know, I'm, I'm not an expert. Uh, it's, just, it's just one of the things that I've heard. It could be, it could be. But in, in any case, it just add a great... Uh, flavor and, 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 the, and the dish comes together uh, it was, great. You know, it was, it was a great dish. I, I, the way you put it together, the way you had mentioned to me over the time we had spoken here at your house and we had talked about the recipe and I thought, and so this is a couple weeks back and, and I kept thinking of the recipe, kept thinking about what you talked about. You made me hungry just thinking about it. So today we're here filming this. <laughs> yeah, finally we got the opportunity to try Abel's uh, creation, which was amazing. Um, we came in here, we, 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 we did the dish, and we've got the finished product here, which is an amazing, amazing dish. And, and you're a meat eater, right? I, I am. I yeah, am. I am. And, and it's great to hear uh, people that eat meat on the regular, you're also a meat eater, yes. to enjoy yeah, non-meat exactly. dishes. You know, it's, it's, it's really cool. You too. know, when, when people right. talk about vegetarian stuff, they think, you know, the salad. people have the raw, the, raw, the, the raw concept of, of, of food, they think... Salad. Salad. They, salad. They think salad. that they think that the food is going to be tasteless or it's going to have no flavors. It's going to be bland. But but people need to open their minds and try Beyond Beef and try all these other products. This was amazing flavor. It was an explosion of flavors. It was it was a, a just a euphoria of just a flavor, just crazy, just coming out of everywhere. I just thought it was great. And um, you know I, I think that people should open their minds to more vegetarian dishes. And that's something I'm trying to teach my kids into 
getting more into the vegetarian dishes. Well, they're, 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 whatever, whatever works for everybody. You know, I know I understand every, everybody's diet is different and, and, and everybody's needs are different. And some people perform better on, on meat than they do on vegetables and other people perform uh, better on vegetables than they do meat. And that's, that's, that's great. I think everybody should find themselves and find what works for them and support the people that they love regardless right. of what they eat. And and, and and I hope that you would introduce these types of dishes into your uh, catering business. I know it's, it's it's a big step, but hey, maybe in the future, you know, I know I know pe uh, uh, corporations like uh, Del Taco and Carl's Jr. have introduced Beyond Beef into their into their repertoire. So that's kind of cool. And just like I mentioned to you, I went to a burger stand the other day. I'm not going to mention the name of them, but I went to a burger stand, a very well known oh, chain burger I, stand. Maybe I can't mention those names, right? Yeah, no, no, it's okay. Go ahead and mention. That's fine. I just I prefer not to. But anyways, right. I went to a burger chain and I tried their uh, one of their br burgers, and they had a Beyond Beef burger that just really blew my mind. And I called Abel. I told him. I said, Hey, I would definitely go out and try this burger again and again and again. It's just something that lots that of really flavor. lots of mm -hmm. flavor. It, the taste, the textures. The texture is everything. The texture right. is everything. Right. You take a bite of this and you go, wow, this tastes like a burger. It smells like a burger. It is, it's everything a burger should be. And it's got the great flavor without the... the well, I mean, <laughs> I think that the just burgers have gotten so shitty, it's so crappy, <laughs> that when somebody yeah. puts, puts out a decent product, it tastes great. Just because these 99 cent things that they're putting out in these freaking AM, PM burgers that they... Oh, yeah, sorry. No, sorry. No, no, no. Just saying. They're these, <laughs> these really inexpensive uh, food products that they're putting out there has become so, so awful for your health that people are really hungry to, to, to take their food to the next level. And, right. and everybody... I haven't met not one person that hasn't tried to better their health and tried to better their diet. And, um, and, 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 and that's what's important. It's, it's, it's that we keep moving forward. Uh, we keep <clears throat> moving forward and, 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 and bringing these new products because there's a reason these big corporate chains are bringing these products to the market. There's a reason they're, they're bending over backwards to provide these alternate menus for people and that's because people are demanding it. They're demanding it. It's true, and they're 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 following what the, you know what the people say. Yeah. It's something that I enjoy. I, I love vegetarian food. Uh, like I said, I'm a meat eater, and and I'm not proud of it, but I'm a meat eater. I do what I do, but be proud of it. Well, I love be vegetarian. Food. I love veggies. I love everything veggies, and it's something that I want to get more into, just for my health reasons, for my health wise. But this dish that he created today was amazing, honestly. And and I'm not saying that Thank because you. Abel's my friend, but it was it was, sure was. it was amazing. It was, it was really really good. Thank you, you guys helping me get it. Was just, you know I always enjoy having my really friends enjoyed. over. And, and, and it's it was crazy. a simple recipe, and it just it was you just know, really good. All you entrepreneurs out there, all you guys hustling for your family, you know we're all very proud of you and your families. And I know a lot of uh, self-employed people that uh, put food on their table. Uh, by their own means, they they don't they don't they don't work for anybody. They don't they don't show up for anybody. They they put it in front of themselves, and they're very successful. And to those people, salute, cheers, salute, 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 salute. 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 <laughs> Self-employed, we know how hard it is, man. So even you YouTubers out there, we know how tough it is. So props to you guys. Man. Yeah, my my uh, m my mentors. You know, you guys yeah. are my mentors. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Hope to be one day. And then we really look up to you guys. Just, Thank you just for your Thank you. independence and your self sufficiency. It's, it's, it's incredible. Thank you. Thank you. So, so um, thank you for having me. Well, thank you for delicious. opening your show. This thank is the uh, what is the the, the, <laughs> the the chef to chef chef to chef chef to chef. Yeah, that's it's what we did. Jimmy so, Sauce's chef to chef show. You guys, you know, you guys. It's our new Jimmy. show, guys. It's gonna be a new uh, uh, show that we're doing. Uh, I want to thank Abel for giving us the opportunity to come to, into his home and to give us uh, the hospitality that he's given us tonight. Um, it was amazing. Uh, we had a good time. Of course, we had a couple of drinks, and uh, man, it just we enjoyed it. We enjoyed it. If any of you guys are out there and have a dish you guys would like us to check out, give us a call, email us, and we'll put the information down below. Give us a call, email us, and uh, if you guys are one of the lucky ones, we'll come out to you guys and do a little filming on one, one of your dishes, one of your favorite dishes that you guys like to do. Remember, this is Jimmy Sauces with my wife, Rocio, Abel here, and this show is called Chef to Chef.